What's up guys? Thank you for joining for another Leteo Pokemon League challenge. And of course, this is against a flying type from Josh, other known as Scortacular. Um, how to start this off really, he's of course have a very, very potent team, very strong team really. Uh, Salamence, Mega Aerodactyl for sure, uh, Vivlion, Squaglyph, I was supposed to get, but Siglyph, you know how I feel about that poke. Uh, I'm also very much fearing this guy for having the cosmic power setup so i was super super scared so i couldn't let this one set up and i got braviary and talon flame here and i didn't really know what's gonna stop but i was kind of hoping for the vivlion i myself is using i switched out my Jubilee for my seventh poke here with b and desert troya or uh, riperior uh mega manetric mantine of course gigalith uh, and hippodon and stoutland not much to say here i've done some switches on my complete team here so of course i don't have the volt switch <laughs> right now my mega manetric and i decided to actually start off with my riparian because i did actually think that he is gonna bring either something that can taunt or vivlion you know to set up something so i was thinking i can probably fake my stealth rocks and just go for an attack even if he gets me like sleep powder with vivlion I think it could take a few hits because I'm actually special defensive instead of defensive. So you guys will see how that one turned out. So enjoy guys. And if you're lucky here, you can see a glimpse of me. Yeah, I actually had to um, turn off the light a little bit here. So anyway, he decides to go into his talent flame in the beginning, which is a huge advantage for me. Uh, I expected this thing to have maybe focus ash, but it goes for the taunt there, thinking I was going to over stealth rocks, but I'm just going to go for a kill. The reason I use rock blast is of course to actually take out anything that is sashed. So if the Vivillion was gonna come in, that would probably take it out easily. So we get to intimidate off with the Salamence, and I really didn't want to stay in, in, ca in case it's physical. So I go into Mantine in case it goes for an Earthquake. But no, it shows me focused energy. So I know a Draco Meteor is coming, but I was thinking, I can wall that, right? Right? No, it does well over 50% that I'm not able to take another one, and an Ice Beam is not enough to take him out, which is trouble. So I'm actually gonna think that um, I could use the sand to take him out that way and even so be able to outspeed with uh, my Stoutland. And uh, he's going for that Draco Meteor yet again, but I think, you know what, I can take this. I can take this for sure. <clears throat> I survived with 1 HP. I, I don't know the mid-max there, but damn. <laughs> very, very lucky for me. And of course I have nothing to actually switch in here. So... I'm just gonna go for Mantine here, actually sacking it. So I'm really glad that he actually going for Fire Blast, because that means that I get another turn to stay in, which is enough for the Sandstream to take it out. So of course I'm sacking off my Mantine here. It's not feeling any purpose in this game. It can't do anything really. Plus the Sigilith is, uh, it could be the Life Orb set, and that's the case, then it's gonna be easily take me out. So yeah, the Sandstorm is gone, so um, I'm just gonna go into Fall Fear. For um, you know, get it retaliate off because no way anything on his team is outspeeding me. Uh, he actually decided to switch out, which I I thought that was weird because I was thinking he's going to go for a cosmic power or anything like that. Uh, and of course, uh, even though he's resisted damage, this does well well enough to take it out, and I am able to see speed outspeeding him uh, in the sand, of course. And I actually thought the way the reason I went for Crunch is because I thought he was going to switch out to um, his Sigilith, to be honest. So yeah, the sandstone subsides, which really really sucks, but I did expect him to maybe go for a U-turn here, and I saw it as a golden opportunity to bring the sandstone up yet again. So I'm still up for the pressure, of course, and it did go for the U-turn, which puts me in a very good position. Plus, just to be honest, I get the sand sandstone up to, and the booger out to uh, be able yet again to go for that retaliate. And it did see that coming, but of course the Sandstorm is taking away its Sash, in case it did have a Sash. And Retaliate was gonna do well enough to take it out. So yeah, second kill for Stoutland. And uh, he's gonna bring in yet again the Bloodwing. And um, I was really hoping him for going for a U-turn here, which will give him a golden opportunity against the Sigilith, because these are the only two they got left. Well, the Braver does well enough damage which shows me it's probably choice banded it could be scarfed and I'm, my defenses are just busy uh, because let's face it uh, brave bird is super super bulky uh, so it's gonna go for force from another brave bird and it does more than I'm comfortable with because it got a grit on it 
but at least in a range where a rock slide can actually take it out, so I won't mind it that much. So we go to another Brave Bird, of course it will put me in a very bad position, and I will definitely be taken out next turn, but I do miss the rock slide, so it, it wasn't meant to be. Sadly, this is what happens sometimes, so my Vulcan did not do anything this game, but at least it did wall out a few things, and I think it did a fair, fair battle anyway. So I'm gonna go into my Desotroya yet again because, um, well, I've seen a reason to not bring it. He can easily wall the Brave Bird. I actually decided to go for a nice punch here because I did think there might be a little, little chance he could switch out and I do want to hit my opponent. And, uh, well, now that the um, Siglet is coming yet again, I did hope for him to go for a Cosmic Power. So I'm just gonna go into my Manectric, trying to Mega Vol. It is a Life Upset. It's the fast life orb set, and there's no way in hell I can take that. So I'm just gonna go for full fear yet again, just to actually be able to take it out, because an air slash could flinch me, but that's about it. But luckily he didn't do that, and the retaliate gonna do well, well enough damage to actually take it out. So, Josh, thank you for this battle. It was a really, really fast-paced one. Our team structure was very similar, that we did try to uh, overpower our opponent, and as a result, the pace of this battle was very very fast and very good predictions on both sides of course and it uh, led to a very good battle. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this battle and as I said there, I really feel that Josh had some good predictions but I was so obsessed with the idea of the Sigilith being uh, the Cosmic Power Burn set with Sigilith and stuff like that which meant that I used my Mega Manectric in a way that I probably wouldn't do but the thing, the reason I did do that was because I have Thunder Wave now on my uh, Sigilith. <laughs> on my Mega Manectric, of course. And, um, well, I have it only for one reason, and that is because the Magic Guard folks shouldn't be able to, um, well, be able to wall him out, really. And if they have Synchronized, they can't Thunder Wave another um, Electric type, which means I'm at a huge advantage. But it didn't work like that. And I really feel that Josh used that to his advantage. And it was actually a close battle, more than you guys want to <laughs> might actually have seen here, because uh, Energy Ball would easily have taken out my Rapierior. And uh, it actually came down to whether or not a Fur Throw could either, either not be flinched, of course, and the other one be that it can take an Air Slash. So I'm glad I have some HP investment. I'm not entirely sure I can take that <laughs> if that weren't the case. So yeah, first badge. Done! Other than that, guys, um, I might not be able to collect all the badges, but I'm trying to at least battle every gym leader. And like I said, huge shout out to Josh team. I really felt it was well constructed. And uh, I'm actually really surprised that I won because of that, because I did so many mispredictions, and he actually forced me to play in a way I wasn't too comfortable with. So, yeah, other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. And uh, yeah, have a good day. <laughs> Alright, guys, take care. Bye.